hi friends in this video i am showing you how to connect your epson printer to your wi-fi at home or at office it's very simple and i'm going to be showing you uh, how to do it on windows and then on mac computers make sure your laptop or your computer your desktop is connected to a wi-fi and then of course make sure your printer is also turned on and in this example i'm going to be using the epson l805 and as you can see it's connected sorry it's turned on and this is my laptop is also connected to a wi-fi as you can see and then this is a router which you can see as well so i am going to connect that router with this printer and this laptop and then the part two i will use this macbook pro which is here and so let's begin with the windows So go to Google and then find uh, something like Epson printer and then add the model you have. For me, as I have said, it's L8500 and then add drivers. And you will get a lot of, you know, websites. But for me, I prefer to go to Epson.eu takes me here let me reject all the cookies and here as you can see operating system for me it's you know windows 10 64 bit it has been detected automatically and what i want i will get it from here download and i have epson software updater version 4.6 Depending on when you will be watching this video, probably it will be another version. And then I have Epson product setup. I have drivers here. I have creativity software. So if you click on this plus button here, you can see Epson software update allows you to update Epson software as well as download third party applications. And if I click on Epson product setup version 1.1, which was released on October 4th, 2016, Epson product setup contains everything you need to use your Epson product. Actually, this is what you need. So what we are looking for is Epson product setup. Then click on um, download. As you can see, it's now downloading here. It has 10 MB. Depending on your internet, you know, this is what we all know. Depending on the internet you have, that will the, find the time it will take. For me, it's almost done. As you can see, it has, it has finished. I click on it. And then as you can see here there are things which are being happening and i click on yes click on agree click next so now here you can tick this if you want to you know the product monitoring and automatic updates it's up to you you do you want it me i i don't care yes i want it and then click next and as you can see right now it's being downloading the necessary drivers for the printer and remember the printer is not connected to this laptop there is no usb cable at this laptop now it has finished then click on i have finished filling ink into the ink tanks click next or if you haven't done it you can skip for me i have done it because i've been using this this uh this printer for long but i've been using a usb cable not a wi-fi so i click on next and then click next 
and so here we are select how you want to connect the printer to your computer laptop or other device so we are looking for Wi-Fi connection so if it was a USB then you have to use this for me it's a Wi-Fi connection click next preparing installation please wait this of course may take several minutes depending on the speed of the internet you have now at this point select which which setup so i have printer and computer and computer on so here you have to be careful if this is the first time you're connecting you're trying to connect your laptop and printer to the wi-fi you have to select printer and computer but if you're adding another computer sorry if you're adding this printer to another computer via wi-fi you have to use this it's very clear as you can see you can read it so for me i've never connected this printer to the wi-fi so i'm going to select uh the first one so printer and computer then click next click next however check look at here automatic setup with usb cable for example this step this step may fail but if you use a cable then the printer can be powered via that usb cable but uh, let's hope that it will not fail so let me click on next when your printer is ready to continue this screen will automatically update so here i am i'm waiting okay now these are instructions for me to follow let me put on the camera so that we can see the printer as you can see they say press the wi-fi button on the printer until the wi-fi light and the this thing light alternately blink approximately three seconds i am going to go to the printer and then i go to the wi-fi yeah they say press the wi-fi button on the printer until the wi-fi light blinks so i am pressing it they said three seconds as you can see now there is something which is happening on the printer here and then there's also what is happening on the installer on the computer you can see everything there current IP address for the printer is set as below click change to change the settings yes if you want you can change that ip address maybe in case if you have another device which is being using that ip address but for me i hope there is no other device now let's see what's happening on the printer right now on the wi-fi there is a green light and then on that other thing there is a, a red yes it's red but maybe on the video it's orange but it's red okay so I'm going to click on next here now let's let's see on the printer So now here, the software installation and network setup have been completed successfully. Now, this is the printer driver. It's L8500 series, port name is that one, IP address is this one, and MAC address this one. Now, click next, and let's see what is going to happen. Now click print test page to ensure the software installation and printer setup have been completed so now i have a print i have a paper there and i'm going to print the test to see sorry i 
as you can see there's signs that something's going to print and yes you see it's being printing this is what it has printed wirelessly windows printer test page it's this one can you be able to read it okay so now i think we have successfully to to connect our laptop our windows laptop to this printer using that router's internet wi-fi we have successfully uh, connected both the printer and the and the laptop so now let's see what's what what is next it the software is going to check for the updates uh, i don't really really want it so now this is the end of the part one of the video now let's take a macbook to learn how to do it on a mac computer i'm going to turn it on Now since it seems uh, I have failed to find what I'm looking on this website, you're going to go to a new tab and go to this website. It's Epson, the support website. And then at this, you know, home page, this is where you're going to type the model of your printer. For me, remember it's L805 and then select it click on search now this is what we have here so my series has has been select selected and i have setup addition and support what i'm looking for it's setup so i'm going to select setup and setup for the l805 series for you it might be another series it might be another name that's okay so we have three options prepare your printer so make sure your printer is on as you can see let me put on my phone's camera again yes as you can see my printer is still on and actually it is still connected to the wi-fi because i have already connected it using the windows pc this is the, the other paper it printed so now i'm going to select download It has been completed. Let me go to my download. It's now this one. Epson L805 series EA20 web DMG DMG. So double click on it. Let me minimize this. So it is this one. It has been opened. And now as you can see it says double click on this icon double click click on open now put in the admin username and password of course and then accept i agree the terms of this agreement and then it is going to install send send usage information to epson do i really want no i mm, this is select options 
and click next installation reinstall required software install option option software or set up printer connection again for new network router or changing usb to network now for me for this computer this computer the macbook i've been using it connecting uh printing to the printer using a usb and now i want to connect it to a wi-fi so i'm going to select this one set up printer connection again check checking the system okay now if you remember where the the ip and everything i was given to the uh, windows pc this is exactly the same so i'm going to click next now you can see printer connected to your network so click next register the printer the epson printer driver okay now it's time to print the test page again so the printer is over there and i'm going to print test print test so let's see this is the one we got from the pc the windows now let's see here yes see it's blinking that means it has a connection okay it's now printing remember this is from the pc and they're different yes it says congratulations you have finished setting up your printer epson connect solutions wow 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 so guys this is the end of this long video tutorial but i believe you have enjoyed it so if you have a question if i have messed up something in the video please let me know in the comment section below but also if you need to ask me something you can also drop it in the comment section below but also guys friends who are watching this video from the beginning to the end give me a like if you know this video you found it helpful and also subscribe to the channel thank you so much god bless you bye so now let me click on next oh that's my ups i don't know what what is being doing so click next check for the updates i don't want it so click finish it's done okay so now both computers these two computers can print to this printer wirelessly isn't it good so i've been using this cable this is the usb cable i've been using right now as you can see the other port is here so it's not connected to here it's not connected okay so now both computers can connect can print to this printer using the wi-fi network Thank you.